Hi, I'm Alicia and welcome to my channel Paper Craft Secrets. Today I'm sharing some new and exciting products by Minte, the Minte Creativa Chalk Paste and the new Minte Creativa Stencils. This is a brand new product line for Minte, very very exciting to see. Each of these stencils measures 6 by 8 inches so it will be perfect for the Minte chippy albums. I'm going to take you through each one of the designs so you can get a close look at all of them. So this is the first stencil. It is ornaments. I've written a little mark down the bottom so that I know the name of each of the stencils. This one is lacy. Number two. Number three is flowers. Number four is dots. Number five is stars. Number six is hearts. Number seven is wood grain. Number eight is handwriting. Number nine is damask. And number 10 is crackle. So 10 different designs. 10 beautiful designs that you can use with your projects. Now this is Minte Creative, a chalk paste. It's like a texture paste, okay? It's 150 ml in white made in Poland. I will just read to you what it has on the label. Water-based, non-toxic, lead-free, very low, volatile, organic compounds. Contains no ammonia or formaldehyde. Adherence to most surfaces, no need to prime before, very quick drying. Dries to a satin chalky finish. The paste should be tightly closed after each use. Before each use, we recommend mixing the paste in the jar with a spatula. Tools can be easily cleaned with soft detergent and water. For adults and children over seven years of age, perfect results with our stencils. For more information and inspirational projects, visit www.mintapapers.com. So this is a brand new texture paste that has just been released by Minte, and let's take a look at it inside. So it's actually very thick. It's quite a thick paste. So. Let's just give it a little stir with our spatula and see how it goes. Okay, so you can see here that yes, it is quite thick and I can give this a little stir up. All right, well, I am super keen to have a go at this. So let's get our hands dirty and let's try this out. So here I go. I'm going to pop this onto the packaging paper that it comes in. I just want to see what this texture paste looks like. It's very easy to work with. Very easy to smooth out. The stencils are very good quality. They're very thick plastic. I'm not finding that I'm getting any sort of paste in and under the stencil. You know how sometimes that can happen. Let's take this off. Look at that. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Let me just clean up those little edges that I sort of shouldn't have pasted there. That looks amazing. It's very thick. It's a lovely thick paste. Now to clean it, you can get a baby wipe and you can sort of um, wipe the paste off the stencil. It helps to sort of put it down onto a board of some description or something that doesn't matter if it gets a little bit dirty. So you can press down and wipe that off. And once you've gotten rid of most of the texture paste, take it to the sink and wash the rest off with some water. Then you can dry it gently with the towel. It's a very robust plastic so you will find that it will withstand gentle um, sort of rubbing with the towel. 
Now you don't just have to do the whole sheet. You can use these stencils for just a little bit here and there. So let's imagine this is a layout or a card and we just wanted to put some stars, just a little bit of stars in the corners. We don't want it all over the whole page and you can see how you can use it in that way to create a different type of effect. Whereas last time we painted the whole stencil, this time we just painted little bits of the stencil. And to clean your spatula, you can just use a baby wipe and just wipe that spatula clean if you would like to. And then you can go to the sink and give it a wash if you would like to. I'm really keen to see what each one of these stencils looks like, to be honest. I just can't stop seeing these I need to see them all so here's another technique you could just do like a diagonal line with the handwriting and that would look beautiful layered behind some paper layers on a scrapbook layout or on a card and I went through and I actually um, played with all of those stencils and um, I, I did them all I couldn't stop with just three I really wanted to do them all I've cleaned all of my stencils now and I'm thinking about putting them on a little ring. This will help me store my stencils, keep them all together, keep them with easy access. For this one I just punched a little hole because the crackle was too small. But there we go, there's all my stencils safely on a little ring. Now what I'm going to do with this, my testing sheets, is I'm going to punch a hole in each of them. This will enable me to put these on a little ring as well and you could even put them on the same ring that you've got your stencils on but you'll be able to see quick as a flash as to what each stencil looks like and it'll help you when you're choosing which stencil you would like for your projects. This will help you to collect all of the 10 Minte stencils and you'll know exactly which one is which. I've just written the name down the bottom on each one just so I can remember quickly at a glance the name for each of the stencils because when I'm doing my projects I need to mention which one I've used. So there I have my two new Minte Creativa stencils that show each design. I haven't done every part of the whole design on each one. I've just had a little play and just tried a little bit of each. So it's not the complete stencil, but it's just a way of playing around and experimenting. And it's really inspired me to get crafting. I really am now dying to use this on a layout or in a mini album or on a card and really get playing around with the new Minte Creativa chalk paste and stencils. Tell me in the comment section below which one is your favourite out of all of the 10 stencils. I'm curious to know. Of course I can't decide which, fa which one is my favourite. They are all beautiful and they'll be all suitable for different projects. If you love mixed media, you are going to love this new line of products from Minte. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and have yourself a lovely crafty day.